Well, that's a good question, of course, and that's true of any program that we use. Um, Fast for Word products actually have, there are 350, close to 350 uh, controlled research studies that have been done with Fast for Word. Um, some of them have a little better control than others. Some of them are quite powerful um, and have used fMRI, for example, to show the neurological effects, the brain effects of Fast for Word. Um, some of them in, are used in schools where children, whole classrooms or whole school districts use Fast for Word and it's compared to the state average and they determine how the students do relative to the state average and then some are clinical studies where you're taking children with very specific problems and looking at the benefits of Fast for Word. So Fast for Word I would say is probably one of the most, Fast for Word products are probably the, one of the most researched set of interventions that exist today. Um, and because of that, parents can be fairly confident that they've been well-researched. But knowing whether the product would be appropriate for their own child, um, I would recommend that they have uh, some kind of professional assess the child to determine that or have the school determine if they think that that would be appropriate for the child. What, what Fast for Word is designed to do, it was developed by neuroscientists, and it was designed to, there are the, there are two sets of products. There are reading products, and then there are what we call the language or the cognitive products. The cognitive products are building attention skills through very, very um, targeted tasks where a child has to attend very precisely to information coming in or to details coming in and then respond and can't get that stimulus again. So they're building attention, they're building memory skills specifically working memory skills. So they're designed to build that capacity for the child to hold content in their mind and be able to do things with it, like answer questions about something they've read or be able to hear a sentence and be able to answer a question about the sentence or even just to be able to hear sounds and hold the sounds in mind so that they can match a sound that they heard three seconds ago with the sound that they just heard now. So all of those exercises are designed to build memory. Then in addition to attention and memory, fast forward products are designed to build sequencing skills because reading involves being able to sequence letters into words and words into sentences. Mathematics involves being able to sequence numerals in the right order so that you know what is being divided by what and so that when you get into algebra you can do them in the right order. So sequencing is important too and then finally processing speed so that the brain can process information, especially language and speech, faster so children can follow directions and listen better. It does a couple of things with language skills. First it builds the ability to perceive the speech sounds in words because some children have difficulty distinguishing speech and noise for example so they have fo trouble following teachers, not because they can't hear, but because they really can't distinguish clearly what the teacher's saying. So it builds those discrimination skills. It also builds the understanding of grammar, and it builds some vocabulary. So it's building basic language skills that enable children to have a richer vocabulary, a full grammatical repertoire so that they can understand, their understanding of language is good, and then their ability to discriminate speech so they can listen carefully to teachers and follow directions. Well, as with almost anything, there is some variability, but the fast forward products are quite powerful so that they, they are driving the brain to process more accurately and better in pretty dramatic neuroscience driven ways. Ordinarily, in my own clinic, if I had a child using Fast for Word, around four weeks to five weeks, they started to say things like, you know how the teachers used to start to talk too fast? Now they talk slower. Or a student might say, wow, that teacher is making things so much easier to understand. Or they just might say you, they enjoy reading more, they ask their parents if they can read a book, or they might just enjoy the act of reading. So that's what a student will start to see, a child. Parents will see that they're paying attention. Parents will see that they don't have to repeat things so often. A child doesn't say, huh, all the time. And teachers will often see that the children are more motivated and that they're attending better in a classroom. And often that begins around four weeks after they start the program, as long as they're meeting the protocol, as long as they're doing it five days a week. You start to see it around four to six weeks.